Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Hey man. Yeah. Are you ready to go to the moon? Like the moon, like the moon moon? The moon in the sky, the moon. All the way up there where that old man duck has been jumping around? Oh, you know it. But first, let's uh, equip that uh, badge that Miss Mouse gave us. No. <laughs> I'll, keep, uh, I'll, I'll keep it around until I grow annoyed of it. Is that the sound of a mouse being beaten by a hammer? <laughs> In which case, right. Ms. Mouse, that's pretty messed up! It's the death cry of my husband. <gasps> As you see, her name is Ms. Mouse, implying, uh... Oh, no. You know, she's, a, she, she's a widow. <laughs> well, let's see if Dazzle has any uh, cool things we can trade for star pieces. Uh, let's see. Mm, what's quick, quick change? change. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, that is good. I like that. Peekaboo, oh. I mean, I, I tattle all the time anyway. So yeah, yeah, I'm going to go with quick change. That yeah. sounds good. I need seven BP to wear it, but hey, that's okay. At least we have it. That's all right. We'll change it up a bit. Yeah. I don't mind that. So we can either roll under this pillar, or we can go ahead and use our guy Bobbery here. Oh, that's cool. And look, it's an entire new section of roadport we have not seen yet. Oh, the slums. I love this area. Uh. Slums implies that it's a bad place to live. I don't know. These guys seem pretty happy. We got a soft stomp! Oh. <laughs> For those uh, really squishy enemies. It's like putting on steel toe boots and walking on pillows. <laughs> oh, fluff, 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 fluff. Oh, this is nice. Aw, oh, come on. Not everybody's made up for a life of crime. Maybe we can change him. Okay, uh, stylish moves. Ah. Everyone, yeah, you know, I've, I've had people say, Oh, you should do stylish moves. Why aren't you doing stylish moves? Oh, I don't know how to use them. Well, now you do. Well, that's it. Each attack has different timing for stylish moves, but hey, share one with me. Try pressing A right before Yoshi drops his ground pound onto an enemy. Okay. Okay. All right. Next time we have Yoshi in our party, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and give it a try. That sounds good. Now, was yeah. he was he telling you to try that and then come back to see him, or was he just giving you advice? It's just advice. Oh, okay. I swear that Mario RPG did the exact same thing when it came to... I know you could take less damage from a button press. I think you could also deal extra damage if you hit the button right. Or maybe I'm just crazy. That I don't know about. Herb tea? tea. Like an oh, herbal tea. Like, yeah, uh -huh. I'm not saying we have drugs here, but <laughs> well, we, we have do, drugs here. We do have lovely Earl Grey, though, if you're not into that type of product. D would you like Earl Grey or Earl Grey OG? Excuse me, would you like some dank pumpkin spice? I believe you'll greatly enjoy it this time of year. So this guy knows stuff. The info guy. The info guy. Wonky the info guy. <laughs> Ooh, Lala's private life. Oh. Uh, all right, uh, just five uh, coins, you know. Uh-huh. I think. It's like business. She doesn't like to get into other people's business, but it's her business not to get into their business, but it is her business, see? Strictly business. Strictly. Wait, that was it? Yeah, it's it's just uh, neat little tidbits about uh, named NPCs. Chet Rippo. Oh, we've we've already met him. He lowers one stat, and you can uh, change the distribution of power between your teammates. Mm hmm. Yeah. I just Maybe I'll talk with him again. I just assumed yeah. he'd rip your Chet right off. <laughs> Uh, but, pretty sure it isn't, but, uh, I'm on my way over there, so, uh, I'll, I'll let you know. You know, him talking about cheese just reminded me that people used to think the moon was made of cheese. Why? I, I, I never got that. Is it because it looked like cheese? I don't know the whole green part. I mean, who looks at the moon and goes, hey, it's green! I mean, if I looked up at the big ball in the sky, I was like, oh yeah, nice, uh, whole Swiss. What? I mean, the sun's just a big fondue, right? 
Oh, dude, take your space tortilla chips right up to the sun. It's steaming hot. Mm. <laughs> Flaming yeah. hot, you know what I'm saying? Flaming hot. Well, what is that, like 50,000 degrees Kelvin or something like that? Sun's pretty hot. <laughs> Gonna sell some things, clear up my inventory a little bit. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, that's an ultra shroom. Yeah. Have we ever gotten an ultra shroom? We've used it a couple times. Oh, okay. Actually, I don't know. Like, because, because I'm thinking, yeah, I've used a green mushroom before to heal me back from that. Wait, that's a life shroom. I'm thinking of the new Paper Mario. I still haven't uh, played a lot of. Origami King. Is it good still? <laughs> I haven't played it much because I've had other games, but uh, from what I've played, I'm still having a good time. At least it's trying to be funny and it's succeeding sometimes. Sometimes. Aww. Oh. I, mean, it's, I mean, it's not like, you know, uproariously funny. I'm not like, you know, ah! <laughs> you know, nothing like that. You know, it's, uh, you know, just, it, it's had some uh, nose exhales. It's had some, <laughs> I love the descriptor of the type of laughter. Oh, God. Because the thing about about comedy is that uh, it helps if you have a lot of charm. <clears throat> anyway, uh, so. The most charming of laughter. Oh, I'm So as long as it's, tr see, it's, it's, it's trying, you know, a lot of the jokes are landing. Whether you think they're funny, it's, uh, it's up to, yeah, just whatever. Your own uh, personal identity with laughter and humor. But as I keep saying, don't think of it as an RPG, think of it as a point-and-click adventure game. Oh, interesting. So now he's dodging, so, which means that, and, oh god, I'm really low on FP and, and HP. Oh my god. Uh... I'll just appeal, I guess. Alright, what's uh, good old Luigi Mario gonna do? How about Sweet Feast? Yeah. You know... Every now and again, I'll remember lines from the Super Mario Brothers movie. And, you know, I get a little sad every now and again, just thinking, wow, that could have been amazing, but it, it really wasn't. And and then I remember some of the good lines. There, there, there's, at there's least a they few. got some of the looks right. Like, the Goombas look like garbage, but, you know, that bob looked pretty cool. It's not a 0 out of 10, but it's less than a 5. <laughs> oh, <And> God! <laughs> Another one! Um, oh yeah, I can do this. Ha-ha! Ah, uh, good job, Mario Mario and Luigi Mario. Now, I never understood the Big Bertha scene in that movie. Oh, which one was that? I'm trying to think. Hold on. Just trying to get the diamond off of uh, that, that lady's necklace and they're dancing and all that shit. Oh, that just, yeah! That, that, was, that was just weird, man. That was weird. It's just fucking weird. It's, it, just seeing Mario have to, like, ballroom dance is, is already weird in itself. Bob Hoskins, why? Forgot. Oh. Nope. Oh. Gonna get that star piece back there. And then there was the scene... Uh, oh, it was the exact same Stop. scene. It was, uh, everybody walk the dinosaur. One thing I hated most about that movie is how uh, they, they were regular plumbers, mm -hmm. and... A lot of 90s movies did this, and 80s yeah. too. The The whole movie, they were just regular plumbers. Yeah. But the promotional art, the trailers, even the goddamn cover of the movie has them in that iconic red and green getup. They don't get into it until, like, way three. in, way late into the movie. Yeah, and yeah, what's, the first thing that, what's the first thing they, that they do with their powered-up boots and their awesome new suits and their ready-to-kick-ass? They sway gently <laughs> back and forth with some Goomba. Like, are you kidding me? I remember that! God! By the way, I am done with this uh, badge now. Uh, thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> that was okay. quick. Well, you didn't like the sound of screaming mice every time you open up a new pathway? Yeah, not really. It, it also works on my jumps, too. Ooh, okay, yeah, never mind. Yeah. So it sounds like you're squishing a bunch of mice. Fortunately, we are oh, now wow. at Chapter 7! Oh my. Mario shoots the moon! <coughs> ah! Oh, uh, oh no! Uh, uh, why, you're so Mario? young. Why, Mario? Ooh! <gasps> oh, I love winter themes. I 
wish I had some clothing. It is stupid cold out. I hate stupid cold days. Well, I just wish we had stupid cold days that actually had a reason to exist. You know, like actually having snow. Over here it just gets stupid cold and like rainy. It's a lovely November day and it's almost 80 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I hate our state. I know. <laughs> It just thinks, huh, you know what? Let's have all four seasons in a single day, which we just had like a week ago. Oh. What was that? That was me getting the timing wrong. All right, well, what are these things? Ice this puffs. is an ice puff. It means snow. It's a mean snow cloud. HP is nine, attack is four, defense is zero. That's a lot of attack. Heesh. Kind of, kind of reminds me of, uh, if it had one eye, it would basically just be Cold Stare from a Link to the Past. You think Krakow is its dad? Well, you know, Krakow still owes alimony for a lot of his uh, little offspring there. I know, little horn dog can't just keep it in his pants. <laughs> I mean, when you're when you're a cloud with a single eye and a bunch of spikes, I mean, no, you're just covered in pricks. I mean, how <laughs> what, do you what are you gonna do? Huh? How do you keep it? I don't want to think of the anatomy of Kirby enemies. I Thank did not mean much. to run. <laughs> We're gonna try that again. So many mistakes. Get, get over here, get over here, get, get over here. Get, get, get over here, there we hey, go. Hey, there we go, you jumped on the cloud, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> I can actually see Mario just falling straight through. <gasps> oh! Uh oh. Alright, I know you can do it. I have faith. That was beautiful. For some reason I got- I just have a problem timing these clouds. Now, I want see? you to- I want you to take that line. And I want you to say out of context to the next person you meet. <laughs> I, I want to see their face. Hi, my name's UDJ. I have a hard time jumping on clouds. <laughs> Especially on my way to the moon, you know, it's actually very difficult to jump on these clouds. Haha! -ha! Woo, look at you! I dodged wind! <laughs> yeah. Oh, Mario, the master ninja, able to dodge wind. <laughs> What am I doing? Attack, there. Come on, man! <laughs> you, just, you just press A when she hits him! It's not that hard, is it? <laughs> I've definitely had an episode or two where I'm yelling at past me. <laughs> just thinking, oh, come on, it's not that hard. Time makes a fool of us all. <laughs> I'm trying Try to remember... Oh. Let's go Power Smash, just... There, there is actually one episode. I, I can't remember what. It's been forever. We've been doing this too long. <laughs> I swear there was one series where I literally stopped mid joke to go, "What the hell are you doing?" <laughs> but it was to myself. <laughs> it's like I couldn't believe what I was looking at. It's like, what the hell are you doing? Well, I imagine if we go back to like our. 2012, 2013 episodes are going to be like, oh my god, what were we thinking? Oh, I've actually... Re I recently had to look back at old series that we did. Do you remember recording on a rock band microphone? I remember recording on a shitty desktop microphone. I remember like, when we... I remember when we had to prop the, the, the microphone on a stool. Oh! Oh, lord! Well, I think the funniest part is some of our best stuff was done in, like, really shit quality. Like, Dead Rising. That was done on the single microphone. Oh, God. I yeah. think. It was... No, did we do that post? Was that I separate? Thought it... I thought it was post. Okay, maybe I'm thinking of something else. No, sorry. The series I was looking at was Mario Party 9 and 10. That was... Th th that was... Oh, hey, star piece. That, that, that was definitely a, a, a single mic, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. Mario... Mario Party 9, at least. Like, I... This just goes to show how much technical advancement goes in after all these years of doing this over and over again, where I remember it taking, like, three and a half hours to render a 45-minute Mario Party episode. I have now no fear. And now we're professionals! Oh, shit! Oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Why is the microphone tilted all the way to the right? That's not gonna be good to listen to. Yeah, that's actually bringing back some good memories, like how we got through an entire episode and one of us wasn't recording. 
Oops. <laughs> oh god, I remember that. Actually, one episode of Resident Evil 6, I remember very vividly. That's right. You were really yeah. mad at me because we went ten minutes in and I hadn't pressed the audio record button. <laughs> I was so just I mad at you for that whole series. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter what you would have done. <laughs> yeah, a year and a half for 50 episodes. It was done in a month and a half. I think that was the worst part. <laughs> I also recall telling you, hey, by the way, the series ends, like, this week, and you're like, bullshit. <laughs> it's like working, you know, 120 hours a week, only to get, like, 10 bucks at the end. Yeah, exactly. Oh, hey, uh, I, I worked overtime, boss. Oh, cool, you'll get your time. Wait, I thought it was time in half. No, you'll just get time for this. It's all right. Oh, and if we're also doing lovely behind-the-scenes LP trivia, uh, do you remember when we did Papers, Please and Doki Doki Literature Club at the same time? I do. That was that was just a couple of years ago. Uh huh. That was that was actually really fun because it was just I, like I like that. Yeah. It's like, hey, let's let's get together for like four or five hours and let's talk over some PC games. How about it? I remember finding Lucas Pope's uh, Game Jam games, and I felt like Christmas came early. <laughs> Yeah, that was uh, that was before Oberdin was actually official. You got to play like the demo version. Yes, that was fun. Whenever we get into Oberdin, anyway. Did you say whatever happened to it, or why haven't we done it yet? When are we get into it? Uh, whenever you want, dude. It's coming out for Switch. I think I got the physical copy coming soon. So whenever you want to. I thought it was out for Switch already. It is, but uh, I'm a collector and I love physical media. That's why it's taking so long. I'm, I'm starting to get into digital a little bit more, to be honest. It's very handy to just be able to, you know, sit down and be like, oh, let's, let's put in a game. It, like, you're speedrunning gaming and saying, oh, hey, I just skipped three seconds just so I can, you know, start up a game immediately. I don't have to get the disc. By the way, I fucked up that input like crazy. Oh, definitely. <laughs> that, was, that was not good on me. I mean, I didn't want to say anything, but... No, it happens. It's, it's okay. You can mock me all you wish. I mean, why would I want to mock you? It's not like I'm just sitting here shooting the breeze with you while you, while you fight ice piranhas. I mean, that's it, basically what's what's happening. You know, we're just making our way to Far Outpost and just reminiscing on the good old days. Actually, that that's another good memory of doing RPG in a day and a half. Yeah, that that was that was nuts. That was nuts. I, where'd that momentum go? But th then again, I have been very impressed with us lately, just, you know, flying through NG. It's just like, well, uh, dude, I'm sorry to tell you, this episode's like an hour long. I was like, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> this one's an hour and a half, though. We're gonna do it all! Yeah, let's just do it. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm really... I, I keep saying, you know, oh, you remember when we used to be funnier, when we had a lot of momentum for this stuff, but... We really still do. It's just been very tiring lately. I gotta say, though, uh, after doing NG and this, I, I feel... Shit. I, f <laughs> I feel more hopeful for doing uh, longer, more epic uh, RPGs and stuff like that. I have ideas regarding that. Like, uh... RPGs are now in the stars, let's, let's say. I like the idea of us doing RPGs like this. I mean, like, JRPGs, also, by the way. Oh, yeah. I know. Uh, I don't see myself doing a, uh, you know, an Elder Scrolls game anytime soon. Oh, Lord, no. That's, that's like, what, two years worth of material? Besides, I'm think I think everyone's explored every square inch of Skyrim at this point. Oh, yes. And if they haven't, the modders took over. <laughs> no, I was thinking, like, a, a good, wholesome RPG from a, from a series that... I mean, pretty much everybody's touched on, but, you know, it might be fun to add our little spin onto it. I'm thinking of doing, like a, like, a Tales game, but I don't know which one. Do I do one that I like or one that I hate? Uh, well, I've, I've got... I, I, I have several of both. <laughs> you have... You have one up over me when it comes to collecting. You have the Symphonia duology. I basically have every other Tales. Basically. I've, I've got Tales of the Abyss for... No, not Tales of the... Tales of the Tempest for DS... 
I've got Tales the of the The lowest rated Tales game in the entire series. Yeesh. I think I have the the one for Vita that is the one rare Tales game that didn't get a dub. Huh. I also have Tales of the Abyss for 3DS, I think. Ha haven't played the Abyss. Haven't played uh, Zillia, but I have the first one. Uh, Zestiria is a pile of garbage. <laughs> Symphonia 2 is a pile of garbage. Berseria is my favorite one in years. Oh, cool. Since, since Vesperia, which I have the 361 and the uh, definitive version. Mm hmm. Slow going through the definitive version because, you know, I've already played it. Oh, I've, I've been looking into that one because I really want to play Vesperia. I have it for 360. I just. I want to play the definitive one, even though it's kind of mismatched. See, I got Vesperia too close to Dragon Quest XI, which I just adore. And dove into, I hear. Oh, I, I, I jumped right into that because I have not, I have never beaten a Dragon Quest game. And now you have? Now I have, yes. Yeah. I, I have beat Eleven, and Eleven's the best one. I mean, dude, if you ever want to dive into my backlog of JRPGs that's not Time and Eternity, we'll definitely try one. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I've got so much vitriol for that shit. But, by the way, I actually started taking notes for that, like, four years ago. And then I realized that I wouldn't be able to do the 100% thing because I'm an overachiever and I like it when people give me virtual head pats. But, uh, there's a piece of DLC I can't get anymore. Oh, great. And I'm so sad, because it was a beach scene, and you would have had a field day with it. <laughs> uh, field day, uh, more like nightmarish field trip. Well, I mean, field day for me, because I just, you know, sit back with my cup of coffee and be like, like, how, like how are you enjoying the, this like, trash? The kind of field trip where we go out of state, and I forgot my swim trunks, and I forgot my packed lunch. Well, shit, man, we'll just go to a Walmart in the log cabin and <laughs> figure it out for you. <laughs> Time and Eternity is such trash. It is. It is probably one of the worst pieces of crap I've ever seen. <laughs> it's such trash. And that's why I want to. That's why I want to do it so bad because it's so <laughs> awful. It's uh, like, oh, I don't know, what? Because you know, ever since the PlayStation era, <laughs> companies have done everything they can to make their RPGs look like Japanese anime. To varying degrees of success, you know, you, you got the cell shade and stuff, you know, that's that's looking good, you know, that, that, that kind of works, it kind of went with that. But, and then, Time and Eternity, they just say, let's just make an anime right around it! Yeah, you, you Let's got use your... actual cells, and make it so that way the characters clip out of their boxes! Because <laughs> we think, didn't do it right! I think my favorite part is they are 3D backgrounds. <laughs> and it just looks so off-putting. It's, it's like, so yeah, hey, bad. yeah, I put my animation cells on top of my, uh, my 3D backgrounds, I hope you don't mind. And then, of course, the, the the plot itself is interesting. Yeah, I, I, I won't get into that. It's your typical anime fair for 2012, I believe. No, 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 no. So God, when many... did PS3 come out? 2006. 2006? Okay, it would have been... would have been like 2010, maybe. So many mid-2000... mid-2010s and... Early 2010s anime. It's just so garbage. Such crap. I've got games based on a lot of them. Well then, I'll delve through and see what kind of bullshit we can pick out. You know, I've always thrown around the idea of doing a Vanillaware game, and then I realize I wouldn't be talking at all. Just be like, whoa, <laughs> wow! look at it. Oh, it's so good! Odin Sphere, 13 Sentinels, it's all fabulous stuff. Grim Grimoire. <laughs> I haven't played any of 13 Sentinels. Looks pretty good, you know. Mm -hmm. It's got a got bit, bit of the tropes going on, but you know what? They do it well. Hey, Pass UDJ, you missed a star piece in there. Yes, you did. Hey, Pass yes, UDJ, can you can you update future UDJ on that? Thank you. Actually, uh, present I tried, UDJ... I, 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 <laughs> I tried calling Pass UDJ, but he's not taking my calls. Oh, okay. Hey, that's, uh, that's, said, I, that's said, I keep getting these weird phone calls from... <laughs> Oh, more spam? Delete. <laughs> it's past UDJ telling you that the end of the series will bring about the end of the world. Aw, that's that's cute. 
it's even cuter. So, you know, um, I like these this bombs. Guy, th this guy's saying that they don't have a cannon, but what the, the fuck it, is that? It's right there. It's right there. I can see your cannon. Your cannon like, is right there. Straight from Babam Battlefield, my dude. But I have an idea. Goodbella, tell me everything you know about this guy. No, oh, you're one of those green people, aren't you? Super close off society. That means they'll talk to another Babam. I gotta love the fact that we just kind of bullshitted for an entire episode. <laughs> I'm I'm all about it. <laughs> yeah. I, I miss these. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, not, not a lot happened. We we were just making our way to Far Outpost, and that's that's about it. I love the idea that the Thousand Year Door was the first uh, Mario RPG to literally say, "It's okay, I have a bomb friend." So yeah, we need to use your cannon, otherwise the world's gonna end. Yeah, yeah, now you're listening! Hmm, the world ending? Uh, I'll take your word for it, old bomb friend. So we're unfortunately not going to the moon this episode. Well, that's alright. The adventure's half the story. Because the guy who owns the cannon isn't around anymore... And the guy who worked the cannon also isn't around anymore because the guy who owns the cannon isn't around anymore. So uh, the two guys, the two bombs, who can actually use the cannon so we can get to the moon, aren't here. Hmm. So we gotta find Gold Bob and General White. Oh, a rare white bomb. Yes, an albino bomb. Albombo. Yeah. So, next time, on Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door, we gotta go find these two losers, and, uh, who knows where they could be? Hmm. So begin the manhunt. Next time. We'll see you then. Maybe we can find them if we play Minesweeper. No, wait, they're not mines. Never mind. Boy, that joke bombed. Oh,